drama and flair. So for my very first item, we have the rib knit insert duster. I'm gonna show you the colors I'm gonna bring in, the lady of the hour. Um, we have this gorgeous sand. We also have it in cloud, remember anything uh, in the cream family. And we have it in slate, which is what I have on, which is a beautiful blue. We have it in its wonderful uh, sa sa sage, it's pale sage, easy for me to say. <laughs> and then we have it in black. So I wanna bring in Marla Wynn because she is the star of the hour. She does a duster better than anybody. And I just think if you don't have a duster, you're not living right. So let me bring in my girl, Marla Wynn. <laughs> Marla, I love your dusters and I'm so glad that you left the movie business and now that you're creating drama for us here in fashion. How are you, darling? There you go. I'm good, honey. How are you and yours? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, but this is, a, this is beautiful. I just, to me, don't you think you get a second look when you have a duster on? Well, you do, because I've, I'm going to show you some ways to style it. But in terms of the yarn, this is a viscose, a, a nylon polyamide blend. And it's the same blend that we had last night on the show. And what's great about this is it doesn't wrinkle. You know, you just give it a little. It's perfect for this time of year. It's very much of an Italian knit. I first learned about knits with polyamide in them when I went to Italy and I went into overpriced stores that had cashmere and wanted to see what they had for the summer. And this is a go-to European knit. It has a different feeling. It's not as soft. It's got a crisper feeling, but not a scratchy feeling. And I'm wearing it head to toe in the cloud because I absolutely love it. And it lets me mix and match everything that's coming up in the hour. But I wanna show you some great ways of styling this. And I love the way Andrea's wearing it where you've got it with our knit crepe pant. But we also have, which I'm wearing, little matching sweater knit pants. Now, this, this particular group came in for me. I went up to a large in the in this top. Okay. Um, and a large in the top because you know what? I'm, this is where I'm like, I'm buzzing me, darling. So that's what I did. But I want to show you the great ways of doing this. So we have the beautiful sand, right? Uh -huh. And I styled it. You know, a little accessory is everything, right? I agree. You just pop that on and it brings something. But I want to show you how you build your wardrobe. So this little necklace, just for your edification, is 734-123. Now, I want to show you the way to totally change it up. Put this beautiful print that we're going to talk about in the oh, next hour under yes. there. So you Gorge. can add a print, right? Gorgeous, now, you guys. let's say that you buy the head-to-toe look because uh -huh. that's how I designed it, head-to-toe. And you want to change up from the duster. You can also throw a little jacket like this over it that's tonal and beautiful. So that's a great way of styling and giving yourself wonderful options, right? Because it's all about options. You can also bring in some of these other pieces that I'm gonna show you in a bit. Now, I love to put black and white together. It's yes. classic, it's elegant. But I'll show you what I do to pull it all together. And it's the simplest, dumbest little thing. You know that necklace we were just looking at? Yep. Look what happens in tying the whole look together when you take one of my so little chic. black rubber necklaces. Uh -huh. Right? That's when you That's see chic. those ladies. Like, you know, I used to be, when I would travel and I, I was living in Paris, I would get on airplanes and I'd be like, how do those darn French women always look so good getting on and off planes? Well, one, first of all, they wear something comfortable like this. This particular fabrication, you're not going to get off the plane and be all wrinkly. And look at the beautiful ribbing detail in the back. You've got that ribbing detail in the front. You've got the ribbing detail on the little tank that we'll talk about. Now, in the green, I love the sage, Debbie. I absolutely love Well, let me put that in front. The sage is beautiful. It says springtime. You know, green to me, um, it means life, right? You know, you've got all the grass you know, growing, and you've got the all the flowers and the leaves. But look at the beautiful texture on this. So the texture right? is vertical. It goes down, brings the eye down, very slimming. You've got this drop shoulder, and I love how we have the texture, the rib texture on the sleeve. Uh, beautiful, beautiful details on this and the length on this. And even when you turn it around the back, she gives you the same rib nick texture that goes down the back. So you're just gonna pick your color. This this sage is, is extra small to 3X. Now I have on the 1X, so I stayed true to size. This is about 37 inches in length. And I just think, let me straighten up my necklace. I, I just think it, it gives you that extra flair. And I love that you gave us the deep 
deep, long slits. You know, that you know to what? me. Yeah, yeah, why do you do that? There's I love reason. it. It's slimming, Deb. It it makes your it turn to the side again. Well, I'll do. Well, I don't know. You can't see it as well on me because I'm head to toe in the same color. But when you do that, you are elongating the leg. Yes. That's number one, mm -hmm. right? Because nobody's written me and said, "Oh, I'm you know five foot three. Please make me look shorter." <laughs> like nobody. Not even people who are five foot nine do they do they say that, <laughs> right? So it's just a way of elongating. And I think it's got an elegance to it. It does have a drop shoulder. Now, why do I do drop shoulders? I do drop shoulders for a couple of reasons. A lot of us carry weight in our upper arms, particularly as we, you know, I, you know, COVID, that COVID-10. Uh -huh. um, and about a pound of it went to my arm. So I'm very grateful for it. Um, because it gives you a little bit more room without being overwhelming. Some people don't like my ponchos. They think like it's too much. I don't want it. I, I want something a little more classic. And this is a classic piece that's going to mix and match with everything in your closet. And as we move through the next few pieces, you're going to see how you can get what I call the modern suit. I've been wearing it forever. So, you know, if you keep things long enough, they become new again. They do. <laughs> but the head, to toe, the head to toe ability uh -huh. of wearing the tank with it and the matching pant will give you a suited look. So now we're going to talk about the tanks, which are adorable. I love them. And they have a scoop neck. It's a and we have